Hello and welcome everybody. My name is the IT guy and in this video we'll be looking at ISO files in Linux. So in Windows you would normally need something like a third-party software that can do this but in Linux it's actually built in. Well technically it is a third-party software because it is you know still a piece of software installed on Linux so it's not technically the operating system itself but it is included in nearly every single Linux distribution. And this includes Ubuntu. So we're working on PopOS, but if you're working on Ubuntu, it should definitely be included. I don't know about the other ones. I do think that um, things uh, like uh, CentOS might also have these built in. But if you don't have the software that we're going to talk about right now, you can always just download it using the built-in package manager. So uh, first of all, we'll need to open up our terminal here. Actually, let's make that easier for us. So let's just open this here. So um, let's just say that you have a CD that you want to get an image file of. You just want to get those contents of that CD into an ISO format. So you probably already have copied the contents of the uh, CD. Maybe you haven't. Anyway, you'll first need to do that so let's just take um i don't know just take something random from my files here let's just get um let's just take one of the images here and let's just get the image of like the server distribution of ubuntu here so let's uh, extract the two let's first First, it's going to have to read it, of course. So this is also possible if you want to edit something like an ISO file, it's perfectly possible to do this. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the folder. So we are first going to create a folder where we're going to store all this information. So let's store this in IT guy and let's extract everything in here. So what is it going to do right now? It's going to extract the contents of that ISO file into the folder we just created. So let's go back to the folder called IT guy and here it is, everything uh, needed. Let's just delete this test folder. So this is the, the content of the ISO file. Everything within this ISO file is, um, everything with the, the, all the contents of the ISO file are now in this folder. So what you want to do now is you want to probably just add something. Let's just say you want to add a file uh, that you want to be able to access during uh, the live distribution, so the live installation. So this is Ubuntu server. Um, so this, this, this might be handy if you want to do something like a, a, a live um, or unattended installation of Ubuntu, but we're not going to dive into that. I'm just going to show you how to edit the ISO file. So you can, uh, create a new document here so actually whatever you want so just you know add a few files um, let's, uh, let's see maybe I can add, add this screenshot I took so actually we're not going to do too much I'm just going to add like a picture and an empty document and now we're going to go back into uh, our terminal here so let's open up the terminal and we are now using um, we're now working from inside this um, folder so let's actually go one up so what you want to define here is you want to define first of all you want to define the software so the software we're going to use is make ISO FS so it's actually going to create an ISO file using that minus O will define the output so let's just um, let's just take the output uh, media data here uh, slash images I believe it is and this is going to be the place where you're going to store your ISO first of all so we're gonna call this modded Ubuntu dot ISO and just uh, space over here and then we're going to define which folder the content of the folder we want to uh, define so this is going to be media so the root uh, uh, media slash data and then IT guy which is the oops which is the folder we are working in here so just to recap a little bit so we have make ISOFS 
And again, if you don't have this, you'll need to install it in your terminal first. You'll need to, uh, you can look it up. If you don't have it installed, you'll need to install make ISOFS minus O, which defines that we're going to output. We're going to define the output here. And the output is going to be where we are going to write the modded ISO file. So this is the new ISO file. And then the final argument is going to be the folder. Uh, so the contents of which folder we want to create an ISO file of. So this is actually a, a pretty basic uh, command here. And we're just going to enter here. And it looks like there is a... Maybe I didn't really define. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you really need to be sure that everything is correct. So it's actually data and then it's IT guy and oops. And also the same goes for this one. IT. Oops. No, it's not over here. It's over here. So media. And I think this is wrong as well. So you really need to be sure don't make any mistakes so it's located at media IT guy data images and then we want to output it this um, ISO file and then this is going to be the folder folder from where we are going to read everything and we're gonna put all the contents of the folder we defined in the last argument we're gonna put that into this ISO file here so just put, press enter and then this is going to be happening so you're gonna get this uh, a little magic showing you here on the screen and let's go back into data let's go into images and we will, should see um, so modded ubuntu.iso is right here and we can mount this archive and as you as you can see so so we have the untitled um, document recreated and then we have the uh, png image we added so this was just a quick tutorial of the how to create an ISO file in Linux. Um, this also works for if you have like a DVD or CD-ROM, you can always just copy the contents of the, of, the, of the CD or the DVD onto a different folder and start from there. You can also uh, use this to edit ISO files like I just did. You just extract the ISO file to a folder and then you use that folder to define the contents of the ISO file you want to create. So it's just as easy as that. There's not there's not too much uh, difficulty to it. It's a good way to create backups, also to uh, modify ISO files if you have ISO files and you want to modify them, or you want to just uh, put things in ISO files instead of using zip files. Uh, this is also possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.